love her and pray for her and honor her. How many like that? How many want to prosper? Yes. Man, you ought to have your feet in the air for that. <laughs> Put up your hands and everything else. And God is going to help us concerning this. Well, thank you for staying. I know you've been here a while, but listen. When I go out to eat with my friends, we're usually there about three hours, aren't we? About three or four hours because we're enjoying one another's company and we're talking about the things of God. Amen. So we're going to sing, we're going to dance, we're going to read for God to give us the revelations and rejoice over them. Hallelujah. Go ahead, sister. That's how I like it. I love it. Come on. Just give that dance, give that look. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh.
change in your life. It was wonderful. But I saw the honor of the Lord coming into your life in a new way. I don't know what, exactly what he's going to do, but I just saw that. And God's going to do it. But I saw him just it was like he was making things very comfortable for you. In other words, a peace upon your life through the difficult times and the hard changes. I saw him make it's like he put a great big pillow under your head. And the rest of the bed looked like a pillow also. But I saw he was just going to make things very comfortable for you. A new ease is going to come into your spirit. There's a rhythms inside of you. Just move with them and watch what the Lord will do because that eternal eternity, we're talking about the eternal movements of God are about to move from the heavens on many people, not, not, not everybody in the church. But on many that are looking for it, and you're one of them. Hallelujah. I saw that as you were standing there. Glory to God. He's giving you great peace. Peace comes from righteousness. It's a fruit of righteousness. And you're going to see the hand and the plan of God unfold to you, unfold, unfold in you and around you in a greater measure than you've seen it before. I, Yes, I saw you thanking the Lord, and I saw him pouring blessings on you. It was like a rain, a soft rain coming upon you as you were sitting there and you were thanking him for all the things that he's done. Good. Yes. More, 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 more. more. Confirmation. Yes. It's confirmation. Yes. It's wonderful, to, but it's wonderful to know what the Lord thinks about it. I, lo I don't care if he wants to tell me it. I've been bad. Just tell me. I'm going to hear his voice. Hallelujah. So Saru said that. She said, even when he corrects you in the glory, right. you heard his voice. Doesn't matter what he had to say. You heard the voice of your beloved. How many want that? How many want to hear the voice of the Lord? Now, Lord, I thank you. You're going to give us a hearing ear and an open heart. To even the little whispers and the little nudges. How do you know what I'm saying? Just the little nudges. You're going to catch the sound of his voice. The sound of his movements, the sound of his purposes. Oh, I love it. I don't care. You know, I, I don't care what he has to say. Just talk. Amen. Hallelujah. You want to correct something? Just do it. You want me to change something? Just do it. And here's what I'm saying as I said that. I saw every one of you had a trumpet, but it was kind of turned like this. And he wants to straighten it out because you got a prophetic word he wants you to give. Yes. yes. Everyone in this room, God wants you to be able to say, Thus saith the Lord, or I feel the Lord, or I believe God. I think this is what he's saying. Come on, just step out on the waters. I don't see anybody getting out of the boat these days, but listen, Jesus and Peter walked on it and let the waves, the waves of God, the waves of God, let the currents of God, let the movements of God come upon you and take you out in those new places. In those strange places that he wants to take you into. And you'll wonder, is God, does God talk like this? Does God work like this? Yes. I've heard the Lord say things that I can't repeat. <laughs> oh, yes, he gets kind of personal. Yes. And he wants to get personal. And I saw that. I saw these trumpets that hadn't been used. They got kind of rusty. How many want to prophesy? Come on. You just want to declare what the Lord is doing. 
And the more you prophesy, the plainer it's going to become and the more often it's going to become. It's like, it's like anybody you read a new frying pan and you don't want to use it because I'll burn all mine up. Let's go get another one. But you know, you want to make it, you want it to look like it's new all the time. But listen, use that gift. There's gold that God wants to bring in the earth. There's plans he wants to reveal. There's purpose he wants to give. There's direction. Prophecy brings the church to a new place. It takes you to another realm that not even preaching will bring you into, like prophecy will, because it's a creative word. Yes, you want to prophesy, sister? You want to prophesy? <laughs> you had it all over your countenance. I see you're about to graduate from one room to the other. I see you in a hat and a gown where you're going to go to a new level in the spirit. Hallelujah. Just put your hands up. Yes. Visit her in the night, Lord. Visit her. Stir up that gift inside of her. There's a hunger. There's a knowing. There's even an anxiety to do it, Lord. And I thank you. I thank you, Lord. You're going to make her voice in the darkest place and make her like a light. In the Jesus' name. Stir it up. Here I am, Lord. Send me. Take it, my children. I'm coming. Yes, check it out. You've shown you mercy. I've shown you mercy. Things to come to pass. Take it. You get up. I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't be settled in your hearts. There's more. Yeah. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Yeah. Get complacent. Cha, 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 cha. Utu. I see mighty guns. I'm going to use them. Utu, do, 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 do. Inventions that haven't been invented yet are coming. Utu, do, 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 do. You don't think I see the enemy? Bakaraba. What he's doing to my children? Deke, eh, eh. Take it. Buku, itia. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, Buku. Utu, uu, yes, you Ruth. You can. I've called you. Maka, ti 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 ti. Oko, take it. Do shaka. Do the will of the Father. Uku, 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 uku. Yet ya. I'll show you more. You can. Ah, ask. Iti. Yeah, wave of glory. Da 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 da. Here comes the wave. <laughs> All the way, but I'm asking yeah. you more to come, more to come to pass. Yes. Hit him, take him. For I shall turn a new thirst upon the church, saith the Lord. He that hungers and thirsts after me, I shall no wise hold it back from you. And I say, open wide, desire more. It will be a cry with from envy for more, and I shall give you more. Open you wide and make room, and I shall pour it into you, saith the Lord. Those things that's been hidden for generations, I shall reveal to this generation. Even as you surrender fully unto me, yet let the change come. 
that there shall be an opening for me to come in, saith the Lord. And I shall cause the rains to come, for yea, it has been a dry place for many seasons in the church. Very dry, but yea, I shall come and water. So what are the fields? I shall water the trees. I shall water the plants. I shall water that that's just coming forth, even the young ones, saith the Lord. I say unto the open wine, cry aloud and spare not, even unto me. And see what I will do, saith the Lord. Hold not back, be not afraid. But open up to me, saith the Lord, and I will open the heavens and pour out a blessing. Yea, in dry places that has not opened, has not yielded. Yea, for there are many places that has been no fruit, there has been no harvest, saith the Lord. But if you will open unto me, yea, let me use you to be like a cloud that will come and pour out on those that are in dry places. Let the refreshing come in your spirit, saith the Lord, and watch and see what I will do. Yea, the spring shall open up, the fountain shall open up. Yea, that that's been deeply buried inside of you shall pour forth. So I say unto thee, open up wide, open up unto me, saith the Lord. And you shall see that I shall pour out the blessing. Great shall be the returns for those that will open up to me, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I saw him watering the harvest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But there are many crying in many places for someone to come. And I'm looking for those to hear the cry, to have the ear to hear. Yea, to have the desire to go. I'm looking for those, saith the Lord. And I'm calling for those that are willing. For I have the ability to do whatever is necessary. I yes, shall provide. She'll see the ease of how I work in your life. Yea, let not the days go by where things are stale and stagnant and still. For there is much that I desire to do. If my people will cry out, I shall do it. Be ready, be available. And I shall move on your behalf, says the Lord, and great things shall be spoken from thy lips of that that I have done for you, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I've seen people finding favor that you never thought existed. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb of God. Keep playing, Richie. Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Praise your wonderful name. Come on, praise the Lord with me. Praise your name. Praise your name. Praise your name. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Oh, wonderful Jesus, wonderful Lord. Oh, wonderful name, oh, wonderful name of Jesus. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. The Lord told Sister Ruth, listen, he told her as long as she held a place in Jerusalem, there'd be no more there. She was there 28 years. He's now telling Sid Roth to go to Israel and build a worship center because Ruth Heflin didn't finish her work there. That's probably the answer to this war problem. Somebody's not worshiping the way they should in Israel. Hallelujah. She had a worship service of four hours every morning, Sunday through Monday, until the Lord showed her how to do it in an easier way. Thank you, Jesus. The ease of his glory, 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 hallelujah, the ease. Anybody else seeing any visions, don't be afraid, even if it's a glimpse of a color, 
You can go anytime you'd like. said the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by the name, thou art mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When you walk through the, when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Yeah. I like this. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, and Ethiopia and CB for thee. Hallelujah. Goes on how she's precious in his sight. How he's loved her, and how he's given men for her, and people for her life. Fear not, I am with you. I will bring the seed, your seed from the east. And gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up and to the south. Keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth. It just goes on and on and on. I have formed thee, I have made you, and I have created you for my glory. Hallelujah. He's created everybody in this room for his glory. Now, Lord, we just dismiss this great people that have been faithful to stay here. Hallelujah. We're not late bloomers. We're early risers. Hallelujah. And we bless these people, Lord. I just thank you for your visitation, your blessing, your favor upon them coming in and going out. Let it be not like another day, but let there be things to discover and desire and to do in Jesus' name. Let them come again with a testimony of your faithfulness and your worthiness and the greatness of your name. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. 
Hallelujah. Somebody in this room, somebody's going to write a nice check for you. I just saw the ink pen. And somebody writing a check. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless them coming and going. And Lord, we say just make us a house of prayer wherever we go. Even as you've made Jerusalem a house of prayer. Make us a house of prayer. For your name's sake and in Jesus' name we pray. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. For thine is the kingdom near a mountain and a lake a mountain behind it and a lake below it and I had a vision of three mansions on a cul-de-sac and they all look like Italian villas they showed an episode of Sophia Loren's villa while she lived on earth you can't imagine what that man gave her and I'm telling you, you cannot describe what God is going to give you in your mansion. Amen. That's right. They said the apartments in heaven, somebody went to heaven, the apartments in heaven are greater than any mansion on the earth. The apartments. Yeah. That means there's somebody that they, they don't have any works to give the Lord, but they got a place in heaven. They suddenly were died and were saved. Amen. So they have it. I'll take an apartment. I'll take one room. Come on. I don't, there's no cabins in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let your, imagine, your imagination get away from you. Sister Ruth, did you hear Kurt Douglas died? Do I? Did you hear Kurt Douglas died? Your Kurt Who died? Kurt Douglas. Kurt Douglas. Oh, the story about Kurt Douglas? He died. He died. He did die. His son? No. The father. He died. He's 103 years old. He died? He's 105. He's been dead for a while, I think. No, really? I just heard recently. You just heard it? Yep. Yeah, he died at 105. Really? I'm going to look it up right now. Yeah, the Lord gave me a word for him, and I sent him a text. I, know, I, thought, I thought you would have said something about it. Yeah, Kirk Douglas. He died at 105. He was unsaved. He did, he's Jewish and did not know Jesus when... He had a stroke, and they put him in the hospital, and the nurse was spirit-filled and told him he needed a, a miracle, and he said, what's a blankety blank miracle? She said, well, the answer is in a book beside your table. It was a Gideon's Bible in the table beside you. But I'm worshiping the Lord one day. How many have not heard this story? And we'll let you go. I'm leading worship at our camp. And Kirk Douglas's face. Now listen, that's been 30 years ago. His face comes up before me while I'm worshiping the Lord. Now what am I going to do with the vision? Yes. 
So I stepped out on the waters, Richard, and there were people behind me on the platform, and I said, I'm seeing a vision of Kirk Douglas right now, and I gotta figure out what God's doing. I got two seconds to get an answer. You'll be safe if you say God's doing a miracle. I said, God's doing a miracle in his life right now. Amen. Somebody behind me says, beats me. I thought he was dead. <laughs> I just bursted my balloon. I thought, oh my goodness, I've sold something false here. Yeah. 103. And, hey, died 103. And I had to get out of that, man. I had to get back in the spirit because I had the vision and I've said something. And I had to continue praising the Lord, but I had reached that high place. You've got to reach a place where you're seeing and worship. Two weeks later, a brother comes that's a good friend of Ruth Evelyn's. His name is, I'll think of it in a minute. He's from England, but he has a place in Dallas. He said, I've just come from Hollywood doing some Bible studies in the homes of celebrities. He said, you'll never guess what happened to Kirk Douglas. But I was listening. So was the person that said what they said behind me. He's had a miracle. The person that had said, he beats me, I think he's dead. Somebody said that behind me when I had the vision. They said he's had a miracle. He had a stroke and he was paralyzed from the throat down. And that story I told you where the nurse said to him, he needed to read in the Bible. He needed. A, he said, what's a, what's a blank and a blank miracle? Now his parents immigrated, immigrated from Russia to America. Anyway, He's paralyzed me down, but he, but he can barely talk because he's got a speech impediment now from this drug. Mm -hmm. The story is, is that God healed him except for a little lisp in his language. Yeah. Completely. What is in the hospital? Mm -hmm. He calls Michael up. I got the story from this brother. Rennie McLean is his name. Rennie McLean. He, he said, Mike, he called Michael, he said, Michael, I've come to the conclusion that the only reason for our living is to have a family and grandchildren and enjoy each other. He hasn't spoken to his son in years. Michael hasn't spoken to his son in 10 years. This is 30 years ago. I mean, he's trouble all of them. He said, so I'm getting rid of my art and everything that's limiting me and I want you to find yourself a wife and give me some grandchildren. <laughs> yes. So he marries this Catherine Zeta Jones. Mm -hmm. They almost divorced, but they didn't. And he had two or three children by her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His son got united with him, and then Michael had throat cancer. This all happened at one time. And God healed him of the throat cancer. When I had the vision of Mike of Kirk Douglas, it healed the whole family. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But I spoke it out. So as I hadn't spoken, so as I hadn't spoken it, out, it wouldn't have happened. You got to know if you don't declare it, it's not going to happen. Because it's in your voice. He said God's voice is like many waters. It starts healing, putting things. That's why we need to hear prophecy, because it puts things in order. Anyway. He got rid of all his artwork. The family's back together. And then he appears on Hallmark as a rabbi. Kirk Douglas does. <laughs> yeah, that's good. They put him on television and interview him on one of those programs. The, I'm telling you, he was so old, he was ancient. <laughs> but he's talking. He's still got that little speech impediment. But he's talking and still married to the same woman for 60 years. Boy, that's a miracle in Hollywood. Yeah. And I know it's because I declared, not just me, could, anybody could have had the vision. It was declared that God was doing a miracle yes. for Kirk Douglas. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on, tell me your stories. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I sent a text to Hollywood. That was, somehow, Rachel helped me. She's Jewish. She we figured out how to send a text to them to tell them. I said, now, you can't say too much about Jesus, but we got to get some spirit into this story some way. They sent me a text back thanking me very much for informing them of my revelation. 
You don't know how God might cause you to cross somebody's path one day. That's true. Perry Stone was told by God before Bush came into office, anytime you'd like to close down, it's all right. He said, it is, woke him up and said, it's my desire that the governor of Texas becomes the next president. So he wakes his wife up. Who is the governor of Texas. She said, oh, he's that son of that other man that was the president. <laughs> now, the point I'm getting to is this. Harry Stone goes to Jerusalem and Bush is at the wall where he's going. And he sees him and he remembers God has told him he wants him as the next president. I don't care what you think about George Bush. He was a praying man. That's why God wanted him in office. He was a praying man. I know they hit the towers and all that, but he was a praying man. So anyway, he runs over to George Bush Jr. and he said, I'll sum it up. He said, don't you think that you should be the next president of the United States? And he said, George Bush said, well, I don't know, I don't know. But there he was visiting Israel. God was preparing him for the presidency. Amen. You got to see how God puts the dots together, you understand? The dots have to be put together. You'll have something to happen over here, and 10 years later, another part that goes with it is over here, or three years later. All your life, he's putting the dots together of what he's doing in our lives. I know you've stayed here a long time, but some of the shop this long. <laughs> <laughs> you can go anytime. I, my feelings are not hurt. I can stay here. Richard will play. I'll stay here all day long. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've been standing for five hours in case you didn't notice. All right. What's the song? We're making room for the glory. We're making room for the glory. Yeah, it's got the buttons. 
I just saw that when I looked at you earlier. I said, boy, it looks like something from the Civil War. <laughs> this is a Civil War we're having here this morning. Come on. A Civil War against the devil and all of his imps and what he's doing. Yes, thank you, Jesus. I just bless you. Thank you for coming. Anybody get bored today? No. They better not raise their hand. They would have been gone. I just if they didn't tell you that... Um, I'm actually going to be graduating school here in a couple months. Do what? I'm going to be graduating school in a couple months. Uh, revival school. Graduation. Oh, that's that Ken, Ken, yeah. so 